Inside Stanford's Mechanical Engineering Research Laboratory, exciting innovations are taking shape. Each unit is the same origami pattern. Each of them can actually fold. It can reach out, it can contract, it can interact with object by bending and twisting. Using a specific form of origami assembly known as the Kressling pattern, Associate Professor Rene Zhao is working out the designs for a new robotic arm. The design mimics an octopus's arm, generally regarded as one of the most flexible limbs in all of nature. The arms can move in any direction, expanding or retracting as needed. By replicating those movements in a robotic arm, Zhao believes it may someday help emergency room doctors provide oxygen to struggling patients. Currently in biomedical application, the intubation process is tricky because it's hard to get into the trachea. We can use the magnetic field to guide the intubation process. And the folding and the stretching aspect of the robot can be naturally compatible with the motion of the trachea. For Oxford professor Adrian Thomas, the prospect of using robots instead of a surgeon's scalpel is an exciting advancement in medicine. It's been tried and tested over hundreds of years, but the way that the medical profession, surgeons, operate inside of your body, it's still exactly the same. They get a blade and they cut you open. That, there must be a better way. Inside Zhao's lab, engineering students are working on developing a host of tiny robots that may soon reconfigure the way doctors treat patients. The process begins by printing out a plastic origami cutout and manually assembling it into a single foldable unit. After that, a 3D printer can extrude a polymer resin containing magnetic particles onto a glass plate, which gives each unit a magnetic polarity and provides the driving force for the navigation of the robot. Once inside the body, technicians are able to manipulate the robot using a magnetic field. So the very nice thing about this design is that we only use one set of magnetic field, but just by changing its magnitude and direction, we can selectively control the unit that we want it to move. The octopus arm is only one of several designs Zhao and her team are developing that could have broad biomedical applications. In April, Zhao's work with the so-called crawler robot, based on the movements of an earthworm, was featured on the cover of Science Advances Journal. The lowly worm doesn't get much respect out in the real world, but in Zhao's world of biomechanics, the earthworm is a rock star. The crawler robot we recently developed, that one is inspired by the movement of earthworm. It has very low stiffness in the moving direction and very high stiffness in the lateral direction to overcome the resistance from the confined space. Right now, the crawler robot is being designed to deliver pain medicines more effectively by taking the drug directly to the site of the pain. Also, we could integrate a camera on top of it so that we can see through things, we can see what's actually inside. So there are a lot of different functionality that can be integrated to the Miller robot system. At the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems in Stuttgart, Germany, scientists are working on another milli robot design modeled after the movements of a caterpillar, among other organisms. In addition to drug delivery, the hope is to someday have the four millimeter robot perform biopsies and replace the need for invasive surgeries. While the possibilities for new forms of treatment are certainly intriguing, questions still remain. First, how will doctors remove the robot from the body once it's finished its task? Zhao says her lab is looking into it. One way is to develop a biodegradable material that is biocompatible, it's very safe, and the robot can degrade after it finishes all the tasks. Zhao's research is currently in the trial stage and likely still years away from human clinical trials. For now, Zhao is continuing to look for new ways to improve the origami models she's developing in her biomedical research, taking inspiration from the intelligence found in nature and stretching the limits of what's currently possible. <laughs>